Howdy folks, it's Mama B, and today we're going to talk about creativity. So creativity is a mindset, and usually the reason we have a struggle with it is because our minds are set and blocked. So we're going to talk about a few principles and try and help you get out of the, block, the uh, mind block. All right, so I have a list here. These are some of the elements of creativity. We have shapes, sizes, colors, mediums, textures, contrast, and balance. So when you start thinking about shapes, you think of squares and circles and rectangles and hearts and stars. But my challenge to you is think outside of that. So instead of thinking sh circles and hearts and stars, imagine this. This is a shape outside of your typical shapes. If you look right here. You can see this is not a circle. It kind of takes on a circle, but it uh, takes on different shapes. Um, things that aren't really in shapes. Try going outside. So when you're creating, especially with yarn, you can go anywhere. And it doesn't have to be in a circle. It doesn't have to be in a square. And you can take different shapes and form them into circles and squares. Take a look at this one, for example. That is not a circle, it is not a square, but it is a different shape and it's a lot of fun to work with. So think outside of the box when it comes to shapes. Um, as sizes go, you can use all kinds of different sizes of, of yarn. Um, you can use all kinds of different sizes of uh, creative uh, mediums. So again, Think outside the box. Colors. Mix your colors. My advice is when you don't know what colors look well together, look to nature. Nature puts colors together because they work perfectly. And so if you like maybe a flower, um, take a look at the flower, see what colors you can see, and look a little deeper. And you'll find that colors can be mixed in all kinds of different ways. And, and that will be a good guide for you, is look to nature. Mediums. With mediums, we're talking about different kinds of things that you can use. So in art, it would be pencils, paint, um, variety of things like that, right? Well, with yarn, you can use, again, the different sizes. You can use things from nature, like sticks. We can incorporate these things into our crochet work and make it quite clever. Feathers. Oops. You can use beads. And one of my favorites, buttons. And you can use all kinds of colors and shapes with your buttons as well and everything that you use. So I recommend that you think outside the box on the mediums that you use and the things you include. Um, when you're using different mediums, Consider about the care. Feathers, they don't wash so well, right? Sticks may not wash so well either, so that would be more for like things you would make for your wall hangings or something like that. Beads, they wash pretty good, unless they're wooden beads. Wooden beads don't wash so well. So keep in mind those kinds of things. Keep in mind the care that it would take. All right, textures. You can use all kinds of things for textures, and we talked a little bit about textures on my last creativity video. Um, there's so many different kinds of, of things that you can use, uh, materials, the buttons, the sticks, those kinds of things, that they create texture. So keep, keep that in mind and think outside the box. Find something that you're ready to throw away and see if you can use it. Contrast. Contrast your elegance with your hardy. Um, with clothing, it works great to contrast lacy top with denim jeans. Think along those lines when you're crocheting and when you're creating your work of art. And then balance. It's important that you have a good balance. And a good balance, I find, usually works in odd numbers, like three or five or seven. So like, again, if you look to nature, flowers come with petals of three, five, or seven. Um, sometimes they'll come in even numbers, so you can use that too. Try and find what's the right balance. A lot of times when you're using colors, you'll want to include your colors to make a balance. So those are the elements that you can think of and if you or that you need to think through. And if you 
think of any other elements or any other um, concepts, please comment in the comments below because we love to share our brilliant ideas with people. And I hope that this helps you with your creativity. I hope that you um, are thinking outside the box and, you know, enjoy being creative. Enjoy adding elements. Enjoy mixing it up. And then stay balanced. Thanks so much for watching our videos. Have a fantastic day.